Idle chat begins at the top with the Premier League leaders Charlton Athletic and midfielder Neil Redfern. Obviously, you know, Yorkshire lad, um, and as a kid I followed Leeds United because we didn't live far from Leeds, um, and I used to go quite regularly. Um, and Alan Clark was uh, was a player I used, you know, used to worship as a kid. He had this ability of, uh, you know, sniffing goals out, you know, and rebounds off keepers and, you know, and good touch in the box and things, and, you know, and, and you sort of, even at a young age, you do learn things off, you know, your, your mentors, um, and he was a fantastic player. A lot of men there, Clark! Lorimer going round Nelson. There's a chip, a touch one in, it's Clark again. There's the goal, a beautifully placed cross by Lorimer, and Alan Clark makes it one. The kids, it's either goalkeepers or goal scorers, you know, everything else in between sort of is immaterial when you're six, seven, eight year old. Um, and obviously Clark was a top, top goal scorer at that time. Here's Mackenzie, putting it back, Sam Walls. Didn't know much about that, but got to it. Clark! Goal! I think every birthday was a Leeds United kit. I think that's ever whatever I got. You know, my mum and dad got sick of it in the end. But, um, no, it's just one of them kids, you know, a fanatical at the time. Mick Jones going against Hindley. Billy O'Kane. Oh, what a bad one. Eddie Gray. Neat one for Clark. There it is. 2-0. Jones now for Leeds. And McNabb only half stopping him. Jones getting it across. And Clark going in. And Alan Clark has put Leeds ahead. He learned from good players. Um, and, and, and he definitely was a good player. You know, but, but at that time, the Leeds United side, you know, I, as, as I got older, I learned to appreciate you know, the rest of the side. You get into your teens. And um, I was lucky that I grew up in that area, in that era.